Next we're going to talk about is how to find horizontal asymptotes. And to find our horizontal asymptotes, we're going to be uh, looking at the degrees of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. So important to note, uh, we have basically three options, A, B, and C. If you have a higher degree on top, you will have no horizontal asymptote. It will open up the opportunity of having what they call a slant asymptote, which we'll be looking at later. But uh, right now, no horizontal asymptote. If you have a higher degree on the bottom of your rational function, then your horizontal asymptote is the equation y is equal to zero. Again, just like your vertical asymptotes, it's an equation of a line, and this time with your horizontal asymptotes, you'll have y being your constant, just like you would if you were graphing a horizontal line on a nice little xy coordinate plane. Uh, and our last option is if we have the same degree on the top and the bottom. Uh, if that's the case, your horizontal asymptote is going to be the fraction of the leading coefficients. So it's going to be the leading coefficient of the numerator of our fraction over the leading coefficient of our denominator of our fraction. Sorry, this y should be moved up a little bit, but I didn't know how to do that on the board. Still learning, I guess. We're going to look at a couple examples about how to find our horizontal asymptotes. So here are a couple examples. First of all, we'll look at f of x. If you look at the numerator, the numerator has a degree of 1, and the denominator has a degree of 2. So the denominator has a higher degree. Anytime that's the case, your horizontal asymptote is going to be the equation y is equal to 0. In the next one, you can see the degree of the numerator is 2 and the degree of the denominator is 2. So you're actually going to get the same degree. So anytime you get the same degree on the top and the bottom, your horizontal asymptote is the fraction of the leading coefficients. So we would say our horizontal asymptote y is equal to 2 over 4, I mean 4 over 2. So our horizontal asymptote, we would always simplify that, say y is equal to 2. And then lastly, uh, we're going to look at h of x, and what we're trying to do is to find the horizontal asymptote. And on this one, uh, the degree of the top is 3, the bottom is 2. Anytime there's a higher degree on the top, your horizontal asymptote, you will have no horizontal asymptote. Just a reminder, just like on vertical and horizontal asymptotes, make sure you write an equation of a line. If you do not label them and you do not put that they are y is equal to zero for your horizontal asymptote and vertical asymptote x is equal to some number, then I'm going to take points off.